Spencer. We're on a new, 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 new super adventure in a place literally a seven minute drive from my house, literally a two second walk from where we were last week with the Alexander Stadium episodio. So yeah, we're in Perry Hall Park. We're in the park itself. Um, not sure if this is standard practice parking on the bend. There's a bit of a car park around that side, but no line saying you can't park here. So we're gonna park here. Lovely, let's have a bloody look around. Oh, this is pleasant. It's not the children's area. This is not why we're here. Very weird place for a basketball hoop, though. Who needs an entire court when you can just kind of have that? Is there an old medieval basketball court here? Who knows? So it's actually the River Tame that flies through here, through the park itself, which is nice. Um, yeah, fair play. So I guess Perry Hall doesn't exist anymore. I'm not too sure. I'm not up to scratch on my Perry Common and Perry Perry Bar, great bar history, you know what I mean? But that's the next one to tackle once we finish with Erdington. But look at this. It's nice. It's very nice. It might be nicer than Brookvale. Whoops. I've literally never been here, I don't think, in my life. I've lived in the area the whole time. Not like immediately close to here, but a 10 minute drive. Um, and yeah, it's bloody nice, mate. Wow. Well, well, Pippin, what do you reckon? Pretty cool. Dirty. How different. Will this become the new favourite? Oh, wow. It goes on for ages. I don't know if... Ages and ages. It's not huge on the map, by any means, but lots of, like, a thousand good reviews on Google for this one, which is mad. So, yeah, let's keep wondering. I'm going to generally stay quiet for this video, I think, because I know absolutely bugger all about the place. Um, and, yeah, I just want to take this one in myself, to be honest, because very impressed and I'm glad I've hit it at this kind of like we said in the Sutton Park video uh, kind of sunsettiness of high noon at this time of year it is nice because it always looks good hello he got his reply pretty cool So we're going in completely blind today. Um, am I going the wrong way already? Maybe. Hopefully not though. It still looks pretty. There's multiple routes through this park by the looks of it. I've just stuck to the main one on the left as you get in. I'm just following that. And here's the river. But I've never really seen the river tame all this nice. So pretty cool. Are you ready? How haven't I been here before? I'm a joke. Oh well, that's what it's all about. That is why we're all here, guys. Eh? Without this, no one's settling in places with no bloody water. Look at that bank. Man-made and raised because of old floods, do you reckon? Maybe. Oh, it's very good. So I'm hoping that's a bridge over that side. And we can hop over this river and walk all around what I think is a much, much bigger park than you can see. So, let's -a go, bloody hell.
going to be a bit of ghetto involved when you're dealing with nature and cool things out here in Birmingham. But that's not particularly bad, is it? Um, so what's the crack here? That is locked at night, is it? I don't know. The usual no fun sign. Fine. Uh, so yeah, it is a bridge to get over. Is that all that is? Let's you either carry on down the river, which is nice, or cross over there and hit the park again. Or go and work at Wilco's, which is nice. So I think this side of... Well, I never come this way. So yeah, this is all the back end of Perry Bar and all the new builds for the Commonwealth Games, for the just the whole gentrification of that area, which kind of folded and went awry during... Well, just used delays, really, and budget. They cocked it up, and I believe these are the buildings that will be housing soon. Uh, let's get over the bridge. Blam! It's a road. It's not a road. Get one in. Get one in. Get over here. Nice. Nice. Well, that's probably a really good walk. Just crack on on the grass from there. This way. Don't know what land they've boarded off on this side. Obviously, we pop the camera over the wall in a second. And you'll know. But not me. Oh, maybe we can see behind it. it. Looks like it ends. Anyway, so there you go. Obviously, a huge adventure coming up, walking down there. Uh, yeah, we're going to walk the whole time. Fuck it. Where does it? Where does it end? Okay, we're on the other side. No barbecues or fires. No fun. Here we go. This is what we're. What's been hidden from view? Whoop. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, this essentially is, what is it when it's two figure of eights that cross at the middle? You know, like a, like a Tudor rose, but with four petals. I don't know, but that's how this works. And it's like a raised bank area and a load of kind of woodland and that in the middle, like, yeah, it's spot on. I had no idea this was here. Oh wow, and there's a train line too. Blip, 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 blip. How oh, interesting. It's good. It's a little bit muddy, so I imagine when it pisses down, this isn't the best place to come. But it's nice today. Absolutely fine. Um, looks like there's another car park that we're heading towards, which would be useful for future visits. Wow. How? Now, Perry Park. Is this where... Because I always, I always actually assumed that there was this thing called One Big Weekend. Radio One used to do it. And, yeah, I think they still do it, but it was basically a free gig. And they chose... I'm sure it was Perry Park, though, not Perry Hall Park. Are they different things? I just assumed it was at Alexander Stadium and that was that. But this definitely looks like somewhere you could hold a, a fairly major festival. But I suppose the grounds at Perry Bar Stadium do too. So no idea, I'm gonna to have to actually find out. I think I've still got my tickets knocking around 2004. Wowee, big space. So we've got over there a cricket training ground club thing. You can hear the sounds in the distance, maybe. Fanciest, nicest bit of land, I can't believe it. It doesn't look that big on the map. Which is probably why. I mean, I haven't even ignored it. I've never even noticed it, <laughs> to be honest. 
I usually, like, I just, I just look at a map and see where the nearest fucking reservoir. Oh. Or lake is. What was that then? Maybe getting a tr some train action. Sounds like it. Ah, there's one there. It's on the other side. So, this must just be a train station car park. Because that one's stopping. So, is this... I don't know. I don't do trains. And we've got a helicopter once again on the channel. Go on that tree. I can't be asked. It might just be National Grid again. Ah, there you go. And over there, you can see the... Were they lighting towers? Were they... What are they? Broadcast aerials of Ferry Bar Stadium. <clears throat> Very cool. So really, I mean, oh, Pippin, he's got naked. Look at this. <laughs> so we do have that dedicated car park on this side. I'm still not sure what this entrance is. Is it anything to do with the train station? I don't know. Well, of course, we will find out shortly. Challenge for when I get home, and I expect a photo of this on here. But what building stood here whenever I go? Because there's plenty and plenty of brickworks and hardcore and all kinds of what looks like an attempt at flooring. I don't know. So looking at the, the maps from above on Google Maps, um, it looks like all of this land is just mown into many, many, many cricket pitches. From what I can tell. And um, yeah, I'll pop a photo up now. But yeah, that's a lot of cricket pitches, isn't it? I don't know if we could kind of use them as both, maybe play some football on there. But to be honest, cricket players and people who yeah train at these grounds, very precious about their pitches. It's all gone a bit avant-garde, uh, but well-managed chaos. Holly tree. Um, confirmation that they exist then because my mum's got one in her back garden and we always just thought it was the holly bush because they're always referred to me. The pubs are always called the holly bush, aren't they? But in fact, are they holly trees? I'd say so. Spiky Christmas. So, the River Tame revisited. It's a cool little bridge, that. Oh, hello. Okay, then. All right. I'm disappointed these are uh, trespass shoes. They claim to be waterproof, so much so that they wrote it on the shoe, uh, starting to let themselves down. And it's not even raining, man. I'm just walking through some damp ground. And uh, I can feel my toes getting a little bit moist. So this whole the rest of the walk is going to be following the winding path of the river, by the looks of it, back to where we started. So nice and easy one. Uh, hard to get lost. Famous last words. And another car park for another place to start from. A lot of land. Another bridge coming up for entry. Cool. But yeah, plenty of starting places. You don't have to start at the gate that I did. But <clears throat> to be honest, I think that's the main play area, parky, nicey little folly, you know, proper park bit. The rest, common land, left because of an old Earl, I imagine. Again, haven't looked at a thing about the history of this. Just appreciating it for now. Well, this can end a lot quicker than expected. So you can see the red van over there. That's me. So we can get back there just over this bridge and call it a day. What a lovely one. So we'll have a look at the park park bit next. And go from there, but there's a sign, Berry Bar or Hampstead, that way. So this whole thing is essentially a floodplain made in the 1980s. That's 
the idea to stop floods in the area because the river town is a bit of a pain in the arse for the looks of it. about cricket here. Which is weird isn't it? So looking at the map it looks like everything within this bridge and the other bridge over there is just a big grass rectangle recreational area. So here we go. Just a controlled bit of water, I imagine, fed off the river, but it might just be standing water, I don't know. Yeah, plenty of ins and outs and pipes and that. Very fancy. The community orchard is what I'm seeing. Geese seem friendlier here. A lot of them. There you go, the community orchard just there. There we go, that was bloody great. I'm not sure how long it took, probably half an hour, 40 minutes. But I feel fulfilled. So that'll do. And that's it, we're back at the van. We'll call that a day, that was nice. We'll get back for a day of editing and catching up on everything. So, I mean, it'll have already happened by the time you see this video, but plenty has happened in the last few days. I hope you'd agree. Um, thank you very much for joining. Ugh. Watch this boy. The glory of racing dogs, they just get it. Right then. Oh, so sorry. Go on in. Off you get. Good lad. Wunderbar. Good lord.